Stephen, we've now played a full round of fixtures bar a postponed game uh, against Rada. How would you assess our start of the season? I think it's been okay. I think some, some of our uh, performances have been good. Uh, some we need to tidy up on and get better. Um, but uh, really positive signs and I think we just need to stay focused, keep working hard and keep trying to build on, on uh, some of the performance that we've already produced. As far as chances created go, we're probably close to the very top. Um, it's only a matter of time, I'd say, before we start to capitalise on those. Yeah, like I said, we don't get bogged down. We've, we've seen this throughout the years where we go through periods where you, you don't take uh, as many chances as you would like. Um, but we're fine. I think when you look at all the stats, we're, we're uh, creating more opportunities than anyone in the league. And, and we know if we keep doing that, uh, it's only a matter of time for, for the start going in for us. We've played Sligo already up at the showgrounds. The pitch probably didn't uh, allow us to play our game. Do you think it'll be a different story tomorrow now with Tala? Hopefully. Look, Sligo are a dangerous team. We've seen that up there. But like you said, the pitch did play a big part in, in, in the quality of the game on show up in, uh, up in Sligo. But uh, Tala is usually a brilliant pitch, no excuses. So um, hopefully we can go out and, and, and perform. It was great to see um, Trevor return in Richmond on Friday as far as the rest of the injuries go. Um, is Lee close enough to being back? Yeah, Lee's not a bad one. Lee just slipped on the pitch and, and, and as he slipped, he, he tried to run. And unfortunately, he just strained, but it's not bad. Uh, Lee will be back next week. Um, it's just one of them things. Like I said, the, the pitches at the moment are, are really soft on the foot and, and unfortunately gave way on Lee. But yeah, he should be back uh, next week. As far as Aaron McAniff and Jack Byrne, are they ramping up towards a return? Yeah, both are doing really well. Um, and again, I think people need to understand where we are in the season. You know, we're, we're, we're eight games into it. Hopefully, what is going to be a long season. And um, both are going to be important players for us. Um, and hopefully, we'll have bo both back soon enough. Aaron came in with a with an injury which uh, we knew we had and we knew it was going to be patient, but we signed Aaron for the rest of the season and the next few years, not for the first eight games. So it's about making sure he's he's right when he comes back and and uh, we all know what he'll bring to the team when he is back. Should Graham Burke be involved tomorrow, it'll mark his 200th appearance in all competitions. Just a word on uh, Graham um, on the pitch and uh, around the dressing room as well. Uh, he's grown into a real leader for the team, uh, Graham, and how he plays the game. You know, I think he's he's so brave and how he plays the game. He takes the ball where others wouldn't. He, he's created so many opportunities this year already he's uh he's had a lot of shots already this year it's only a matter of time before he, they start going in from uh, i think his overall performance has been a really high level so far this year Graham. Um, but i think it's brilliant that he's uh, he's going to play 200 games for the club uh, graham was here when when we started all this off and obviously he, he gets so depressed and then he comes back and and at the start of the successful period so um yeah, we couldn't be happy with Graham and how he's grown into being a real leader for the group.